What's up, everybody? This your boy Jerry, Jeremiah, Jeremiah, Isaiah, Jerry, the OG. This nigga has too many names. <laughs> I'm with my boy Carl Cross, Young Croissant. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. So he sent me this Crash Team Rumble video. Better showcasing the gameplay. Oh, this just dropped twelve minutes ago. Oh, this isn't this isn't too uh later ago. Okay, never mind. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So this is this is fresh. All right. So I did a lot of like jump cut edits in my last video about Crash Team Rumble, the current thoughts video. I was wondering what the hell this like canceled Wumpa Fruit logo meant, and it so it basically means you're deducing, you're like taking away the other person's Wumpa Fruit. Make use of power ups, and of course. Master platforming. Okay, yo, is that Coco or Crash wearing a cowboy outfit? Cowgirl outfit. Either way, that's cool. Also, part of my ignorance from the last video, there are different cosmetics in this game. It's not just the fucking Roblox looking skins. So, yeah. Yeah. Those blocky Lego block looking motherfuckers. Yeah. To stash into your team's bank before some heartless goon stomps on your head and takes you for all you're worth. If you've ever played Killer Queen, then you'll feel right at home with a lot of Crash Team Rumbles' formula, which allows for multiple strategies to put you on the path to victory. You can play it slow and steady by depositing Wumpa Fruits into your team's bank. Hold on, he grabbed a relic. What does that? Slow and steady by depositing Wumpa Fruits into your team's bank until you've racked up enough points. Or you can multiply your Wumpa depositing potential by capturing the level's boost zones. Or, if you're like okay. me and just want to grief your opponents, you can camp out on the <laughs> enemy bank and relentlessly kill opposing players to slow down their own harvest. Unlike Killer Queen, a mix of each strategy will likely be required rather than achieving victory by pulling off just one. Every match then becomes about prioritizing the right strategies and communicating with your teammates to emerge with a winning formula. It's gonna be a close one! To that end, All each right. of the five characters have a lot of options to help you crush the competition. Whether it's double jumping, sliding, spinning, or other unique abilities like Crash's mid-air dash and extra powerful slide attack. Oh, so he has a mid-air dash. He didn't have that in uh, Crash 4. Extra it's about time. Slide attack. Or what the fuck? Bro, that shit looked... <laughs> Attack. Hold on, <laughs> that shit looked too. F that shit looked. Uh, I play fighting games, so like when I see that shit, that shit looked unreactable as fuck. Like, Dr. Cortex is there a block button? Why did he say Cortex like that? Finally, there's Dinga Doctor. Hold on, run it back. Experts it, this, this, okay, this, this dude did not just say Dinga Dow, bro. These pronunciations <laughs> getting me right now, bro. This guy Clay does not know. Meanwhile, like, Coco and Dr. Cortex NG, yeah. are boosters, experts at controlling boost zones that earn you multipliers for any Wumpas deposited while they're held. Okay. Finally, there's Dingadial, who is the sole blocker, <laughs> intended to simply stop the enemy from scoring by being a big, scary DPS machine. As your team scrambles to carry out their strategy, you'll also have to contend with power-ups and modifiers within each level. One level has a giant UFO that rains death upon the opposing team once summoned. Enemy oxide UFO. It's neck and neck. Okay. While another has beach balls that can be used to increase you know, your team's noticed, ability. What did you notice? Um, it looks like hats are like a separate cosmetic to the costume, so it's like... Oh. Because I've seen like characters running around with like the same hat on as other yeah. characters, so it's, it doesn't look like it's part of an outfit, it's like a separate thing. Yeah. And deal extra damage to anyone in your cool. way. With mm. so much to think about, and numerous things that can go very wrong or very right for each team, the result is the sort of glorious mayhem that re Hold on, what did the beach ball do again? Mobility and okay, I knew it had something to do with mobility. Alright. While another has beach balls that can be used to increase your team's mobility and deal oh. extra damage to anyone in your way. It's a- With so much Okay, that's kind of cracked. And numerous things that can go yeah. very wrong or very right for each team, the result That's going to be annoying. Glorious mayhem <laughs> that reminds me of my childhood days yelling at my friends during Mario Kart 64 or Smash Bros, and it's really hard to put down. One match I was able to win by simply beating up the enemy team so much they had a hard time depositing anything into their bank. While another, I racked up tons of multipliers by capturing boost zones, so we were able to bank 2000 wumpas in no time at all. Many matches were extremely close calls. But even when they weren't, the energy in the room was hilarious and infectious. 
After a short time with it, I'm confident I'll be putting some time in with Crash Team Rumble during its beta next month, and when it gets its full release in June. For more, check out our- Alright, seen enough. Okay, so that's- Alright, so this definitely gave me more, like, better clarity on mm. what the game is like. This video gives me a better idea of what the game is like. However, it is very much possible that uh, he could have been paid to say these things because we don't see or hear any commotion from the multi local multiplayer or online multiplayer uh, chaos, you know, between him and his this, this commentator and uh, his mm. friends. So, you know, um, do tread carefully when looking into this game. And, um, you know, just based on that slide animation, this busted ass beach ball, um... As, as well as, like, how the multiplier system works, especially since certain characters specifically designed to, like, boost the amount of, like, points you get once the Wampa Fruit are deposited into the the booster thing, those platforms. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I see this shit getting, like, patched up the ass, bro. Yeah. This game's gonna be cracked on launch. You know what I mean? I can say yeah. that. I can say that at least, but... You know, I'm interested in it, but, like, I'm not super excited for it. Still, like, my, my opinion still remains the same. This is legitimately, like, an hour after I dropped the last video. So, you know, um, Carl, shout out to you for sending me this video. Because, like, they legitimately dropped this shit 12 yeah, minutes ago. Yeah, refreshing my feed on YouTube and it pops up. And yeah, like, oh. yeah, yeah. Good looks. Good looks. Um, yeah, this is cool. Um... Now I gotta make another fresh thumbnail for another crash video. Wow. Two crash videos in one month in 2023. Put in the thumbnail. Ew. He's not even in the game. That's wrong. Exactly. That's wrong clickbait, bro. That's that bad clickbait, bro. You gotta make some I make I, I like to make eye candy, like actual like good thumbnails <laughs> that are consistent to the context of the video. I'm not putting no <laughs> I'm not putting that amalgamated fucking I'm not putting Mega Mix in there, bro. Alright? Maybe maybe when he, maybe when he's DLC I'll do it. But anyway, I'm gonna see you guys in the next video once again. Thank you guys for uh, watching and um, yeah, uh, I'm optimistic but cautious. Um, don't know if this will be a day one cop. Maybe it would be if it dropped in July instead of June. I don't know. I feel like July would have been a bit more healthier, if not August. You know, but who knows? Anyway, see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Say bye, Carl. Bye-bye. All right, peace.